You know, I've been flying around this thing for quite some time now. Not really sure where to start. I'm enjoying the ship, it's great, but I gotta say, I'm... Like, like this, you know? I've been having issues trying to get my hydrogen refilled from the... Come on, open there. From the ship uh, out on Pertum, and I figured out why. It, uh... Here. It's not connected to anything. It, uh, it's got a conveyor there that does not uh, link up to any of the hydrogen. And like the, the the gravity generator, I gotta. I'm gonna I'm gonna reposition it. And man, like I really don't want to sound like I'm ragging on the designer of the ship. It's it's it looks good. It's it's fun. Uh, it's a good shape. It's got great. Um, the blast doors actually are functional, which is a lot more rare than you'd think. But I'm I'm hesitating because I think every every little step I'd take toward trying to redesign this ship on the surface in the you know in reality would be um, there would be more struggle in trying to get this ship to be redesigned properly or as I see for my needs then it would be just to maybe design my own ship. Use this one as inspiration. I like the... I love the... the landing deck here with the... you know, the the, the... the actual bays inside using the blast doors. Sort of the recessed bridge here positioned above. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hop back out into the, uh, you know, the dust-covered surface of Pertum. And, uh, I think I might just design a ship. Let's do it. Alright. Quiet. That's good. Any more drones coming in? I don't think so. But oh, that military checkpoint's still uh, gonna keep sending them, I suspect. Mm. You know, the longer I leave that, oh yeah, there we go. One's coming in right now. Uh. Well, my guns are definitely better at targeting the drone coming in than I am. So, I'm just going to go out here. Maybe draw its fire. And keep it from gaining access to, uh, you know, more and more valuable stuff. Huh. Uh, you know, that didn't occur to me till just now that I might have to go... See what I can do about you know, disabling that military checkpoint. And there we are. Yikes. Oh, hey. We got some, uh, you know, good, uh, good loot this time, and a couple of intact gyroscopes. Random. Alright. Another bit of ammo there. Very nice of them to do an ammo delivery service, right? Uh, 
Alright. I have I don't it's probably I'm just trying to think of where can I park everything to uh oh, a little twisted here where can I park things to keep them safe while I uh go look into that that outpost there so actually I'll probably end up taking that with me to go look into it less dangerous than losing this oh uh, but let's see uh, I've got Refilling my tank. Batteries are on auto, and thrusters are on. Inertia dampeners are on. Let's do this. tight fit, but, uh, you know, it works. Oh, why am I not? There we go. is yeah I don't know about that one all right I'm gonna take the buggy out to this military checkpoint see if I can get a better uh, better idea of what I'm facing here I'll uh, get, bring you guys back when I get closer Alright, I just got that from the Shining Shrine, which is over there. So, yeah. That's, uh... Something. Here's the outpost on the horizon there. Let's see, do they have any big guns shooting at me? I'd have seen gunfire by now if they had. Let's tuck along behind this... All right. How close can I get under the cover of this hillside? Pretty close. Oh, now they're activating their defense systems. Which probably means drones coming at me. Let's do this. Let's turn it right off. We'll maybe get close enough to see what's what. And if that's off, maybe the uh, drones won't target it. But it looks like I'm lucky and there's a uh, path right up there. Not a path, a, uh, a ridge. Right up close. 
And I'm totally winging this, and I might die in a few moments, so we'll see. Good thing I've got that. Uh, med bay. Oh. Okay. Does it really? No, it does have guns. There we go. I could try tunneling into it. I could try getting closer on a approach that doesn't have a field of fire. Oh, there's the gun there. Oh, two guns. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, oh, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Ooh, do, 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 do. Here, can I get my orbit camera up to take a look? Yeah. There we go. Looks like I've got a gun there. Gun on the back. Come on. So I'd think that the best approach is probably oh, and then there's a third gun there you know what I'm close enough and uh, I have the technology I may as well get my sapper going Come on. I'll uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm uh, when I'm closer than than I am now. Well, that's a good sign that I'm close. Let's uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, a little higher. There we go. Now there's a gun very close to this corner here. And I think I'm actually... Let's try and go over here. Yeah, there we go. Now... Um, Alright, we got a gun right under the corner there. Let's see about taking it out. And I need to cut through this block to do so. Uh-oh. Purge the unclean? Great. Got this. Um, I can try and rebuild it. Got ammo. Uh, and that's where I'm being purged from. Uh, Alright, quickly now. We want turrets. Uh, interior turret. Why can't I place it there? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't, I'm, that, it's just not shooting at me. Okay. Um, uh, there's a gun right over there. Don't want to deal with it. Well, 
Boy, these cultists don't have very smart support vehicles. Yeah, go figure. All right. Um, lucky me. Okay. The light will guide you. Little creepy. Let's uh, try and take this over, see what we've got in the base. Nothing there. There is a remote control. Couple more interior turrets. Where the heck would that remote control be? Is it. Below me, underneath one of those. One up top. So it's either completely underneath this, or it's in the room with me. Oh, it's right there. All right. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's a thing. Ouch. Okay. Well, I'm going to take the gun upgrade. Because, yeah. Why not, right? Is this ammo any good anymore? I don't even know what it is. Alright. Uh... Alright, you know what? I achieved my goal. This thing is not going to be sending out any more drones at me. Not without the AI active. And I can leave the antenna in place. And, uh, yeah, I can just skedaddle. Uh, if I need to come and, like, salvage that stuff, I will. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go home. And good to know, those AI modules are booby-trapped. Now, if only I can remember where my... Ah, uh, where the buggy is. Uh... All right. I think it was down here. Ah, there we go. Well, I'll see you guys back at the base. Well, you know what? I have been waffling back and forth about what I want to do here, and it's really just time that I make a decision. <clears throat> I'm thinking that the right thing to do is design my own ship. And, you know, to that effect, let's turn this off. And, uh, yeah, get to it, right? 
Let's grab. Let's deposit all of that. Grab those. Start doing some laying out of what we want. Oh, you know what else I might want is interior plate. Because. Hmm. So with the blueprint out, yeah, you know what? I could use the blueprint still. Uh, maybe. Because that's where it would have attached, with the blueprint in place. So let's... Let's see what we got here. So that is supposed to be a cargo container there. And on either side of the cargo container would be, what, an armor block here. And then maybe another armor block on top of that. But I want to centralize my cargo. So... Okay, oh, there. Let's put that out. This here would have been a, a thruster. Ah! Watching me walk around and think is probably not very interesting. So I guess I will get to this, and I'll bring it back when I've got something... You know, something worth looking at. Alright. See you in a bit. Alright, so this guy had been cutting across the horizon... But then he just turned and made his juke straight at me. Yikes. What the heck kind of a kamikaze dive was that? Okay, any damage up top? So that's something I'm going to have to watch out for. They, uh... There is something that's attracted to me. Somehow. Scrap metal. Oh, here's... Well, that's uh, a little surprising, but okay, sure. Eat. No, don't. There. Well, anyway, I uh, clean this stuff up later and show you all what I uh, what I finished so far. So the. The Guardian here has 14 small hydrogen tanks and two large hydrogen tanks. And surprisingly, a large hydrogen tank can fit 15 small hydrogen tanks inside of it. Even though the, the, the thing I did with the storage on the, on the little drilling ship... Um, where it's not the same number. There's 27 cubes in here. So the yeah, math. Anyway, three large hydrogen tanks will be enough to hold all of the hydrogen inside of the wreck. And then some. So I laid them out here like this. 
uh, sort of next to each other, and I'm kind of envisioning this area right here to be the uh, the hangar bay. So we'll have connectors here. Um, I'll probably uh, maybe put another connector here and there, so I'll have three of them. And uh, and yeah, then uh, in front of the I know it's all wireframe, and that's always hard to kind of see and envision. But uh, in front of that, we'll have a large storage container because I wanted to centralize my storage for most parts. But then there's going to be a couple of small containers on either side here. That way I can get a script in here sorting and organizing my stuff and it'll have different uh, spots to keep things. And then here we're going to have two more storage containers that will connect to the, um, the forward area here where my uh, refinery is going to be. And I, I think... You know, the Guardian there has two refineries, two assemblers, but I, I can't imagine I'm going to need anything processed that quickly. So I'll make do with this, a, um, a single refinery, uh, but I can use the new model uh, standing upright. Uh, and likewise, the new model of the, uh, the assembler, uh, which will be kind of like this forward, uh, forward area construction area um, and then my thought is to have the hydrogen stored sort of central in the ship so it's got the most amount of armor around it because uh, you know that stuff is volatile and then out this way in the back will be where my engineering section is where I have all my um, power generation and uh, like the, uh, the, the, the jump drives, have them be back here as well. Uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm, uh, that's where I'm at. And, oh, it just occurred to me, I might be able to use this to get up top here and then have this be like a catwalk that goes across. That'd be neat. Solar carrier. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be carrying much. Oop. That, that looks like it's going down. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, I imagine that they crashed. Well, um... You know, this is... <laughs> just sort of, uh experimenting here and putting things down but uh, I think I'm going to not wait much long no I am going to leave that stuff because it's mostly protected by the um, you know the bullet the, the turrets there uh, and I'll work on getting this all welded up yeah Yeah, because once I have, once I have the, uh, come on, I'm gonna put catwalks on top of this stuff. Actually, here let me. Do I have those ready to go? No, I don't. Here. Um, grated catwalks or steel catwalks. I like the grated ones because I can see through them more easily. And probably like that. Oh, I need a construction component. Well, anyway, that's the idea for the floor in here. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let me get going on some more of this, and I'll bring you back when I am uh, ready to, you know welding things up. How much did that give me? E 0 0.01, 0 0.03. Barely any, really.
Yeah, that's nowhere near enough to get myself a, the next tier up. How much do I need for this again? Um, 0.67 out of... I'm at 0 0.05 out of 0 0.67. So, yeah. Oh, well. But, anyway, I am at the point where I'm starting to weld up what's going on in here. Um, I'm going to connect up the hydrogen tanks first. And, uh, well, once I get the line of connectors across, I'm actually going to bring it all the way out and have another connector on this side. I'm going to put up a couple of stalks there. And then I'm going to do the central line here out and then uh, a couple of stocks up, uh, one on top of the refinery, one on top of the um, do, 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 large cargo container. Although that doesn't have connectors on the top because it's the new model. Uh, maybe I'll put stocks up here and here. That would make sense, two, two of them there. But anyway, then I'm going to cover this thing with large turrets so that if I do have anybody come in to uh, pay me a visit, I'll be able to uh, succeed through overwhelming firepower. But anyway, I am low on the materials needed to craft those up, so I'm going to just head over here and start uh, collecting them. So yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'll do, get my inventory full, and then I'll go weld them up on the, the new ship. What fun. You know, I'm not gonna have that platinum anytime soon. I don't, I don't doubt it, I mean, I'm pretty sure. But uh, this small reactor, I'm also not going to be able to use anytime soon. So, uh, let's grab some of those reactor components. And with those, we can get some silver. So... 100 reactor components, go to production, disassembling, uh, let's disassemble all, see how that goes. And where's the silver? Here's the silver. A pretty decent chunk of silver, per. Actually, you know what, why don't I, uh, when I stop it there, at 85. And go back to assembling, see how this goes. Yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right. Well, a slight upgrade to my tools. Huzzah! And something else that I realized, taking out the conveyor ports here is um, kind of a dumb idea. Because then I'm going to not have access to... Uh, Ooh, power cells, nice. Uh, not have access to these things in here. Um, like, you know, here's a hydrogen. No, that's an oxygen. You yeah, know, that's an oxygen. Energy critical. Well, I'm sure there are hydrogen tanks around here somewhere that I would want to be able to access through the conveyor network in order to get pulled into my own personal storage. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to do that. Which means more back and forth with the, uh, you know, with all this. I think I'll, I, it's not a, you know, particularly inventive layout. Uh, I'm not fitting things together like Jenga pieces or whatnot, but uh, I think it'll be a good basis for how everything else comes together. And it's, I'm definitely drawing inspiration from the Guardian here. I gotta think of a name for the the ship. Hmm. Alright, anyway, uh, back to work. 
So, this is going to take me a long time to do. Running back and forth, grinding little bits off, dropping off the material. And then heading back. And picking up the stuff I like. Anyway, point is, I'm going to be at this for a while. We've got the start of our next ship coming along. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe. Uh, like, I'm toying with thoughts still. Like, do I just turn this right into a another large grid ship with hydrogen thrusters, take off into the sky, get back up into space? Do I try and slap some wheels on it? while I try and then locate that ground facility that I was looking for. Um, that's a thought. Maybe get it ready to fly, but put wheels on it in the meantime. That'd be interesting. Anyway, while I work on these little bits, I am going to let you guys go and bring you back next time for more survival records. And thanks for watching.